we're going to talk about the latex option that we offer for the trucks. We have different sizes for different series of units, but they're all basically operated the same. Of course, you have your latex tank here, which also encompasses a returned um, hose that uh, uh, comes from the relief valve. It's a positive displacement pump. This is the blue section here. This is a vein pump, positive displacement. It has a pressure relief valve that gives you your, your standby pressure. Uh, if you're not getting enough flow, we may need to increase the pressure a little bit. Uh, there may be coming uh, buildup of latex that this valve needs to be serviced, or there's a number of reasons for that, and you can talk to the service department if you're having problems, and we'll help you out there. This is hydraulically driven. Uh, this, this unit would have a four-section pump. The fourth section is committed to the latex independently. Um, so the motor is affixed uh, RPMs, which means the pump's affixed RPM. Pump has two grease points on it. There's, there's this front one and back one back here. It also has adjustable seals. Those seals, um, if you're starting to see weepage of uh, uh, latex around the shaft, these seals will need to be tightened. It's just like a pump packing. They are replaceable. You also have your suction screen. Um, latex has particles in it, so you may, if you see flow dropping off, you'll need to pull the screen out, clean it, flush it with water, put it back together. Of course, you have your on-off valve here to be able to do that. You also have a fill point here so that you can fill from the uh, the bottom of the tank up. There's two drains. There's one for the filter. There's also one for the pump, so you can drain the system on the pump. When you do drain it and you're going to store the pump for any period of time, I want you to refer to the manual, but it talks about a light film of oil put inside this pump to keep it from rusting. This is cast iron, so it will rust. So make sure that you uh, uh, lubricate it with oil and store it that way. Also in the winter, we actually recommend putting RV antifreeze in it so it doesn't freeze, so it doesn't break. Right here, the recording meter is in the cab, but it's been taken off due to freezing purposes. Um, but this is where the recording meter will go. There's a plug right here to plug it in. Um, this is what sends the signal, the flow rate, and the quantity that is being used to the recording meter in the AccuPrinter 2. Also, this is your control valve to start the hydraulic motor. It's just on and off and, and uh, there's no reverse. So when you get ready to run, you wanna start the pump before you start mixing concrete. Always shut it off when you're done running. You don't want that pump to sit there and run for a long time shearing the latex. At the control area where the operator runs the unit, you have the flow control for the, uh, the latex. The little red line in the flow meter here gives you your flow rate. Um, and you're going to calibrate to so many gallons per minute discharge um, through your calibration process. The AccuPrinter here, this is, is what is going to receive the pulse from the recording meter and will record the amount of latex that you're, you're putting into the concrete and print it on a ticket if you elect to uh, make it print it. Also, it has a little air switch here that says latex off and auto. And what that's doing is turning on the air signal in the auto position so when the conveyor starts, it opens the air piloted valve, which is very similar to the black one here. On the other side, it will turn it on. If you don't want to run latex, turn it off. That's how you can calibrate the two independently from each other. On the right side is where the latex is actually entered into the swivel, goes in the swivel here, discharges in the mixer, the air valve that I said is being controlled by that off auto switch is this air valve right here. Uh, it's opening and closing when the conveyor turns on and off. And there's also a calibration port here that you can uh, put a hose on this and you can catch the, uh, the latex to help calibrate it and dial it in.